Viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. And this truth is not going to come from me, neither is it my opinion. The way I see it is the way I'm giving it to you. Oh, yeah, me could have watched this one because Nano go talk say, na me talk. Somebody sent me a video, a politician, a renowned politician, sent me a text. A renowned, a very big politician, I won't call his name and I won't call the position he's holding. So, and he told me, that I should read this thing out. He said, Good evening, sir. Sir, there is a cult in Nigeria whose members that are male sleep with male in Nigeria to renew that political control. They are not homosexuals by nature, but they are made to have sexual intercourse with fellow men so as to keep being politically relevant. They do this intercourse three times a year. I believe Bob is their pimp. He is among those being slept with along with some other gays. Are you aware he does parties without camera? Those parties are being organized and funded by those cult members during their constant rituals. Nothing will happen to Bob Risky. Some of you do not know that this country is controlled by men who sleep with men to regain political control, and Bob Risky is their pimp. Whenever those cult members want to sleep with men so as to renew their power, they pay Bob Risky millions. Bob Risky, on the other hand, will supply them all their consignment. Sometimes they will organize a party through Bob and come to fish out their men to renew their claim. This is a classical information. Keep it secret. Otherwise, you might be sued if you divulge it, even though you want, you want to divulge it. Use wisdom. I am reading it exactly as it was sent to me. Now, the part that got me very interested in, is this in, uh, which is the last paragraph, the second to the last paragraph. It says, whenever these cult members want to sleep with men so as to renew their power, they pay Bob Risky millions. Bob Risky, on the other hand, will supply them all their consignments Sometimes they will organize a party through Bob and come to fish out other men to renew their claim. Now, everything here in this video is alleged. It's alleged. It's, it's an opinion. It's not. A, it's just. It's just an allegation. It's alleged. It's not substantiated. But this is what was sent to me, and I said, let me read it out. So, because when you are beginning to wonder where is Bob Risky having money to do all the videos, to spend all the videos, the flaunt monies around, I think this this paragraph clearly explains it all. So, I, I don't intend to say too much. But I urge Nigerians to stand firm and protect the culture that we've been used to. The culture that I know is man marrying a woman and having children and dying peacefully and their children take care of, the, of them. That is the culture I know. Any culture that suggests same-sex attraction, I have never been part of it. I will now, and I'll use my last breath to fight and save the image of the prick. Because me and a prick I get, I can only say what I have. So prick to me is a very dear companion. It's the only thing I know that God took time to create. The fact that people can subject prick into the horrendous torture of chukini tisanyash to undergo smelly condition, it's, it's repulsive, it's irritating, it's annoying, it, it, it's disgusting. So I cannot stand by and see our precious prick being subjected to this ridic ridiculousness that is called homo. That I cannot stand and, and watch it. Now, we are being ruled, I think there's a, there's a cult that is in control of our affairs. And the earlier we fight against it, the better for us. Because this we don't care whether our roads are bad, whether our hospitals are not functioning, whether our transport system is not functioning. They don't just care. If you like, you cry here to tomorrow. That look, my brother, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know if you know how expensive it is to live now. I have a family of, uh, we are a family of four here, but I can tell you that ten thousand naira will not feed us a day. Barely we survive on ten. Just feeding alone. We are not talking about other expenses such as light bill, house rent, transportation, clothing, toiletries, and all of that. Just feeding alone. Now we cannot continue like this. We totally cannot continue like this and to think that the more the country is deteriorating some people still find a space to accommodate tribal hatred religious hatred beats my imagination completely beats my imagination <laughs> now it has come down to the point where i was saying long time ago this man called bob risky what is his source of income i have not seen him he's a celebrity as they call him I have checked his YouTube. I have checked his social media handles. And I have valued him side by side with the content of what he is pushing out. One, I have not seen any, him as any brand ambassador of any product or company or brand. None. So, where is the money coming from? Hundreds of millions of naira this guy is spending every day. Where is he getting it from? And the lives of him who have taken in that line.
don't get it twisted that industry is far and big and they are growing bolder every day in a country that said 14 years <laughs> let me just keep it at that before you people will say i don't talk another one what do you think of this drop it in the comment section let us continue the discussion there my own comments will be right there too i'm also Janet peters the advocate for good governance bye bye for now <laughs>